today on Trisha. I ain't had sex with my freaking wife in two months. Oh, what, what am I supposed to do? What am I supposed to do? You're the she of my elder tree. You're a liar. She says her mother-in-law is destroying her marriage. You and Ricky have an argument. Who does he tell? His mama. Oh, son, come on home then. Come on home since she's treating you like this. Doris has convinced her son, Ricky, that Monique is cheating. She goes out and be gone for hours on end sometimes. One time. No, no, not no one time. time. My mom says that a real woman would not be treating me the way that she treats me. She even got him to abandon his eight children and move back in with her. I get back home, his bags is packed. He's on the phone with his mom. What secret will a lie detector reveal? Tim is going to tell us whether Monique was telling the truth or not. Monique admitted that she does. She found a secret recording of her boyfriend having sex. Oh, yeah, well, no, I saw a video there. It's Chris's voice, and he's having sex with somebody. The lie detector will find the truth. Were you having sexual intercourse with another woman in the recording that Sandy found? Uh. But be careful what you ask for. You are a liar! You are a liar! I got some making up to do because of him, because he no, can't because take of you. Because of you. I came here to find out the truth. The truth and, and how dare them try to do this to our relationship. But you're not There's allowing anyone. Anyway. Today on Trisha. <laughs> this is Monique. Now, Monique says she's in a battle with another woman over her husband, Ricky. For the last eight years, this other woman has been out to destroy her marriage. Who is she? Ricky's own mother, Doris. Oh. Monique says her mother-in-law not only convinced Ricky she's been cheating, but even got him to abandon their eight children and move back home with her. Oh. Listen to why they believe Monique is an unfaithful wife. Watch. I have been married to my wife, Monique, for eight years. We have eight beautiful children together, but right now our marriage is in a crisis. She blames my mom for the problems that we having in our marriage, but it's not my mom, it's Monique. I believe that she's cheating on me, and the things that she's telling me is just not adding up. I'm Ricky's mom, Doris, and I do not appreciate the way this woman is treating my baby. When Ricky calls me at 3 or 4 in the morning whining and crying about how she's been out all night, it breaks my heart. She gets up at 5 or 6 o'clock in the morning, tell me she's going to work. I didn't even know she had a job. My mom says that a real woman would not be treating me the way that she treats me. It's unfair, and I believe what my mom says. My mom is not going to lead me in the wrong direction. She blames me for breaking up their marriage, but I haven't broken up anything. My wife claims that I abandoned my family to go be with my mother, but the truth of it is, it's only so much a man can take. She just wants me out of his life, but I'm his mother. I ain't going nowhere. Oh, Monique, Monique, when you see that, how do you feel? I'm really pissed off because a couple of weeks ago, I stuck by her bedside when she was in the hospital sick for over nine hours, held her hand. Her own family wouldn't come up there. So for her to act like this towards me, I'm pissed off. It's like I thought we developed a relationship. I thought we was better than that. You and Ricky have an argument. What happens? Who does he tell? His mama. What does he say to her? Oh, I can't stand the way she treat me. Oh, 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 son, come on home then. Come on home since she's treating you like this. And does he go home to her? He's there now. He quit his job and went back home to his mama. Oh. Okay, well, before Who we... would quit their job when they got eight kids anyway? <laughs> and what type of mother is she to let him quit his job when we have eight kids? Do you think she's the one who's put the idea in Ricky's head that you, you've been cheating? It, it got so bad that our daughter was in the hospital sick. She was born premature, 26 weeks early. Oh. And when she went to go see her, she was in the NICU. She was the smallest baby, like two oh. pounds. She had a 50-50% chance of living. She went to go see him. She came home, she shook her head. She was like, that is not your child. Just because of her color, just because of her complexion. I, I understand you had a I DNA said, test. Yep, and I said, 
sent it to our doorstep and let her put it on our refrigerator. And there it is at our doorstep on our refrigerator. <laughs> so, and he checks on you. I understand when you come home. When I he, come home, he's on looking... his knees like I'm at the airport and I got to go through a security checkpoint system. He's on his knees <laughs> sniffing now, me. Now, what happened? You went to a party one night. What happened about that? I asked him, could you please come out with me? Because I wanted to get out. You know, you I, to be with I him. have not been outside of the house in that type of environment since we moved down there. And we've been down there for over a year. Yeah. So I'm like, you know, let's get out or whatever. He's like, I'm not going. I'm not going. You can go. So I'm like, cool. I don't want to go by myself. I prefer for you to go come with me. Yeah. But if you don't come with me, I'm going to go. So I left. I went with a friend. I, I, honestly, I thought that when I went to the party that it was going to be, you know, high and by, but I had an amazing time. Like, yes, I'm, I'm having fun. And then all of a sudden, he's calling me. So I'm like, what's going on? So I get back home. His bags is packed. He's on the phone with his mom. <laughs> his bags is packed. Crying to his mom? Yes. It's, Literally it, crying? Yes, yes. What, what, I'm, like, what? I'm out of here. I'm sick of this. Uh, what, what grown woman would be out there? What kind of mother would she be out there at 3 o'clock in the morning? Um, excuse me, a mother that has eight kids that's trying to get away for a minute? <laughs> list here, you said he does routine body inspections. He checks your phone. Yeah, he checked my phone. How's he text, do that? text messages, you know. I don't have no problems. He got passcodes, uh, credit card, debit card codes, whatever. You can check whatever Has out. He found I don't have anything? nothing. He hasn't found nothing. He has nothing. He has nothing on me. Nothing. Nothing. I got here. He times you. He times you when you go out. So I go to the grocery store. I might be in the grocery store two hours or something like that. I'm shopping for a household of 10. I got eight kids. What are you thinking? I'm supposed to run in, hurry up. I'm shopping. I'm coupon clipping. I'm doing everything. You know, I come home probably like two hours. Oh, it don't take you that long. Grocery store is like 10 minutes away. You should be back here in like an hour. I don't shop like that. I'm sorry. That's why I don't take him with me. Because yeah. when I go shopping, I want to take my time. I'm, I'm running a household here. So I'm yeah. handling finances and everything. Yeah. So whatever. Before we meet Ricky and get to the lie detector results. I want to bring out the uh, other woman, if you like. Monique claims she is breaking up her marriage. So come on out, Doris. <laughs> Whoa! Hi, Doris. Hello. Hi. What do you think of Monique? Monique needs to grow up. You know, she has eight children. She needs to be more concerned, I think, with her children. She don't even get up to see her children off to school. Now, what mother she does that? She called me a bitch, but I need to grow I up. I ain't on that. She I ain't on me. that. No. Oh, my name, you need to get, but I need to grow up. What mother don't get to see the children off to school? My son's How do you the know what I'm I know. doing? I, I we stayed with you. I done stayed with you. How long have you stayed with me? I done been in the house with you. Okay, so somebody who's pregnant, somebody who's sick, you think that I'm not tired? You only have one kid. I have eight. You not in my body. You not in my body. Doris, what is it you call Ricky? You call him my baby. He I is my baby. baby. Don't be my baby. He has that's a baby. It. He that's has right. baby. He's still there. Why would you even care. be concerned still, about him taking care of son. his that's baby? And he needs to take care of his baby. He's not your son. 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 He's Monique should grow up. Yeah. And yet Ricky is how old? He's 35. And he's still running home to mommy? Yes, he will. Yes, that's right. Because he has nobody else to run to. One time before, you thought that Monique had been cheating. I understand you, you looked at her little baby, her middle daughter, and said, yes. that's not his child. She had a DNA test, and it, it was Ricky's baby. Do you think she's still cheating? I don't know. She goes out and be gone for hours on end sometimes. One time. No, 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 no one, one time. time. How do you Which know? I've been there. How do you know? Have, Monique? And so I've been there. So when I had the two jobs to take care of my kids. Where was that? When you were there. Where was that? When you were there. You don't remember me working at the hotel. No, I don't. Doing my nursing job at night. He couldn't even go to work. No, I don't know nothing about that. Let me ask you. Let me ask you, Doris. Do you ring up 
at the house at four or five no, o'clock. I'd be in the bed this time, and I ain't no yeah, way. Four or five no. o'clock in the morning. What's he going on? He What's going on? You call me. You call. My so you don't call him. him. So you don't call him. Every single day. Every single day. Like that. Every day you call him. Every since that man been gone, you ain't even called to check on your grandkids. So for you to tell me what kind of mother are you? What kind of mother are you? Wait a minute. When we come back, we're finally going to meet Doris's baby boy, 35-year-old Ricky, and we will learn the results of the lie detector. Coming up, Tim is going to tell us whether Monique was telling the truth or not. Oh, Tim, admission, I've got. Monique admitted that she does. <laughs> and later. You're the she's a the truth. You're a liar. Lovers' Lies and Ugly Truths. Today on Trisha. Okay, Welcome back. Welcome back. We've been talking to Monique, who's on the brink of divorce, and she says there's only one person to blame for her failing marriage, her meddling mother-in-law, Doris. Mm -hmm. Now, Monique claims that Doris convinced her husband, Ricky, that she's been unfaithful. But Ricky says he has a mind of his own, and he has evidence to prove his wife is a cheater. So, everyone, please welcome Ricky. When's the last time you saw your wife? I haven't seen my wife in about two and a half weeks, so almost three weeks. And you, you see how this picture is? How she's sitting in the middle with he on the end. This is how we man, live. Listen, listen, listen. Wait, 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 Let, let, let me say something. Let me, let me say something. I'm sick and tired of being in the middle of this freaking nonsense. We're going to get all this straightened up right now. First of all, baby, I love you. Nobody can take your place, okay? But you gotta understand, this is my mama. This is my only mama. I don't know about none of y'all out there, but we all get one mama, and we gotta love our mama. Call me a mama's boy, whatever you wanna call me. I don't got no brothers or no sisters. So if something happens to my mama, I'm gonna be there regardless. <laughs> flat out, flat out. I love you. Hey, hold hey, on, for your wait, mama wait, and wait, your wait, kids. Wait, don't wait, 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 hold they on, only listen, have listen. one father. Two. How hold would on. you leave your listen, freaking feet? Ricky, first of all, Ricky, can you explain that? Yes. They first got of one. All, I will never abandon my kids. You that ain't that ain't abandon me. You that ain't in my She came home, you would sniff her private parts. First of all, you just say yes yeah, or no. Woman. Yeah, I'm, I done smelled it. Yeah, I'm gonna smell it. When you telling me you going to the store and the store 20 minutes away and you coming back two or three hours later and it's consistent, it's happening like this all the time. I'm shopping yeah, for I'm ten. Gonna smell I'm, I'm, that's out. I'm gonna smell it. Yeah, that's I'm gonna smell it. Hold on, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Smell me. Understand, it ain't just me smelling her. Oh, she's smell smelling oh, me yeah. too. Oh, yeah, I'm gonna tell you, let me smell you no, too. No, 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 I'll tell no, you, you want taking a lot of time okay. to say. You accusing me of cheating on you? They yeah. always say come on somebody who accused okay. somebody of cheating come on is a it. cheater come on anyway. I love you too. I love you too. <laughs> Take me through this. Uh, you check through her phone. Yeah, well, I'm not checking to see if she's doing something. If I, if, if a text message come through yeah. and I see something that seems kind of strange, like I'm going to bring it to like her what? attention. Something 3, 4 o'clock in the morning, people texting, and the number is unknown. It's something suspicious about that. Remember, we live in Georgia. She don't have no friends or nothing down there. Why are you on the phone all night? This job that you questioned, we saw on the tape that you were questioning mm -hmm. whether Monique really had a job. What, why were you, you said you didn't even know she had a Listen, job? Listen, it's 5 or 6 in the morning, okay? Yeah. Monique goes, get in the shower. Yeah. I'm asleep. I wake up. I'm trying to figure out why the water running. I see her getting out the shower. I'm asking her, where's you going? She say, I'm going to work. Right. She didn't even tell me she had a job. Now, I'm supposed to be your husband. You would think, OK, baby, did I'm going him? to work. Did you tell, him? Did you tell if me If I job? just say I'm going to work, what is that telling you? Why do you, you? tell me you had a job? You already girl. knew I was you working. I was wow. working two days when? prior to that. When? Two days before then. It wouldn't even have serious. He jumping in a car. He jumping in a car. 
You ain't going and nowhere. You ain't going nowhere. Oh, just a minute. Whoa, whoa, whoa. What happened? He jumped in the car. You ain't going nowhere. You ain't going nowhere. I'm typing in the GPS. He's talking about you all cheating. I would not leave five or six o'clock in the morning to go meet no man for yes, my kids. I'm not the one that abandoned. I'm not the one that leaves. I've never abandoned my kids. I've never left my kids. And I won't. I won't. What you looking at? Your relationship. Okay, just a minute. Just a minute. Just a minute. Just a minute. What is going to change? Because the other thing that I heard mm -hmm. is that your mom brought up some doubts about one of your little girls. Mm -hmm. They had a DNA test. Mm -hmm. It came back. That daughter was yours. Yes. Nothing changed. Mm -hmm. So how the hell is any lie detector test going to change Diddly Squad? It's going to change a lot. If she's cheating on me, it's a wrap. No, if she's yeah, not. If say. she's not. If she's not, yeah. then we need to leave from here today and we need to be a better family. If she's not cheating on me. What does that mean? That means she has to trust me and I have to trust her. And you need to stop calling your mama and you know what it's going to be. Monique wanted to clear her name, so she took a lie detector mm -hmm. test administer, uh, administered by Tim Acosta, our private mm -hmm. investigator and polygraph examiner. Tim? Yeah. Come on, Tim. Yeah. Come on, can I stand up for this? Why? Right. No, sit. Stand up. Come on, come on. Sit. Okay, so as usual, I do not know uh, anything except for what I'm reading on this card. I'm going to read out the question that was asked of Monique. Tim is going to tell us whether Monique was telling the truth or not. So here are the questions asked of Monique. We asked you, Monique, when you went to the rapper's party, mm -hmm. remember that one, did mm -hmm. you have sexual intercourse with another man? You said no. Tim? The lie detector determined. Coming up, Tim is going to tell us whether Monique was telling the truth or not. Oh, Tim, admission, I've got. Monique admitted that she does. But first, the recording that you found, tell me about that. It's Chris's voice and he's having sex with somebody. It was her. Lovers' lies and ugly truths. Today on Trisha. Recently, we received a call from this woman, 45-year-old Sandy, desperate for our help. Now, Sandy says just when she thought she finally found the one, her boyfriend Chris, she now has reason to believe he's been cheating on her for the past two years. And the final straw, finding a secret recording of Chris having sex with another woman. <laughs> Listen to her story. I met Chris two years ago and, you know, I fell in love with him. We have a child together and I want a relationship. I have shed so many tears over that man and I can't do it anymore. I've told him, Chris, you know, I don't appreciate you being friends with these other women because when we have an argument, and he turns to these women, my boyfriend. You know, he's looking through his phone and I find some kind of short video and I transfer it to my phone and also have his audio. Oh yeah, well, no, that's on video there. And you know, when I play that audio tape back, it's Chris's voice and he's having sex with somebody. I love that man with all my heart, but if it's true that he's been doing these things, then I can't do this to myself or my children any longer. Now, Chris denies these allegations, and he agreed to take a lie detector test, and we'll get to those results in a moment. But first, Sandy, you're obviously really upset about this. This is the love of your life. Yes. Absolutely. Yeah, love absolutely. I mean, he's, he's so much fun to be around, and, you know, he's a good guy and fun-loving, and... And then we have this beautiful little boy, you know, who's one year old and, you know. And then and all of this. All of this. So now, the recording that you found, tell me about that. He was sleeping and it's come to this, you know, where I'm so 
like heard so many different things and seen so many different things. He's sleeping. I get his phone and I'm looking through it and I find this little snippet of a video. I don't have video on my phone. All I have is audio. Yeah. So what, what did he say about that? How did he Well, he said that's us. Don't you remember that time when, you know, we were out, you know, and yeah, and I'm like, are you serious? First of all, it sounds on there that somebody's being very quiet and it sounds like crickets in the background and everything. Let, and let's hear it. Let's, I think we, have we got it? Let's hear that. Yeah. Oh, yeah, well, you know, I saw a video there. Oh, my So you, yeah. he's, he said that was you, but you don't remember. Yeah. Now, is you know, it true you've seen him in another woman's oh. truck? What are you doing in my driveway in this woman's truck? No. Uh, there was something on Facebook as well. He had gone out with some... Uh, friends of his to a concert okay here I am seven months pregnant he's uh, you know mad at me his friend says hey go out to this concert a buddy with two women mind you did you so, know about this no did you, oh. I didn't know about it I had no idea but I didn't even find out about it until after my son was born that he even went so here I am checking his Facebook you know stuff and here's this woman sending a message something about you know there's some kind of message about enjoying the foot massage or whatever and uh, what did he say when you confronted him with that <laughs> oh we're you know we're just joking around it was stupid and we we're coming home from the concert and there's a puddle and we took our shoes off because our feet hurt and we were splashing around then later on the story changed that no they were actually at his buddy's house at the after the concert and they're putting their feet in the tub now you know he goes back and forth. I mean, if you're Whoa. telling the truth, you don't forget what the truth is, you know? Now, what are you going to do <laughs> if the lie detector comes back and says that he has been having some kind of affair with one of these women? What are you going to do? Um, you know, I, I can't take it anymore. You know, I mean, and, and not, you know, if it comes back that he is, I love him with all my heart. I want to raise our child together. I want to grow old together, you know. But um, I can't take it anymore. I, I've got to leave. I mean, just. Well, we'll meet Chris when we come back and we'll find out why he thinks it's okay to massage another woman's feet. Yeah, we'll also get the results of his lie detector test, so stay with us. Up next, the recording. It was her. So, I go fishing, she accuses me of cheating. I go what? hunting, she accuses me of cheating. And later. Tim is going to tell us whether Monique was telling the truth or not. Oh, Tim, admission, I've got. Monique admitted that she does. <laughs> Lovers Lies and Ugly Truths. Today on Trisha. Welcome back. We've been talking to a very emotional Sandy who says she had suspicions that her boyfriend Chris was cheating. But after Chris confessed to secretly taking another woman to a rock concert and giving her a foot massage, Sandy picked up the phone and called our show. Well, she's here today terrified that she could lose the man she's waited for her entire life. So before we hear the results, I'm interested in hearing how Chris feels about this situation. So let's meet Chris. So Chris, what is going on? Do you have a lot of female friends? I have a few female friends, but first of all, I don't know how in the world if she doesn't have access to my st cell phone, how is she listening to voicemails of it? Because I have your uh, voicemail uh, I mean, password, because I uh, feel like I have to go really? that far. Really? See, that's what yeah. I've you been dealing with. You didn't know that. I've been dealing with her stealing. I'm having no privacy, no any kind of um, freedom well, to even... Well, what do you expect? What normal woman wouldn't think that you, you were cheating? I mean, I have I all mean, this evidence. 
One after another. And, and, and first another. of all, another thing, I never gave anybody a foot massage. Never did I ever give a girl a foot massage. It was sticking our feet in water is all it was. Oh, well, now you say funny. water. Wait a second, wait a second, mm. because that story ended up changing, and you said that you See, were in the bathtub well, okay, later. Well, then when, when later it, 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 it was a bathtub. It all so what out. was it, the foot massage in the, in the water? Or so it was the bathtub. Come out. I, didn't get her. I, didn't, I never touched the but girl. Why didn't you she didn't touch me, I didn't touch why her. Why didn't you tell her about the concert? Well, she wasn't seven months pregnant. Oh. The concert was in okay. February. When was our, our son born? In, in September? I mean, so that's, what? I mean, that's Regardless, the I'm three months pregnant, four months, five months, so seven months pregnant. So hang on, she wasn't pregnant. You're pregnant. Well, she was pregnant, but she wasn't seven months. So? She wasn't like seven but months what? pregnant. Tell me that you were going. Yeah, did well, you say well, did anything? I, I mean, when did I, I find I out? I went right after you kicked out? me out. I mean, you're kicking me out. I'm leaving. Oh, I'm kicking well, out. I'm kicking out. I, I bet I've been kicked out a hundred times. Yeah. From her. If a man bet, is calling you, you get into an altercation. And another thing, another thing, I bet she has accused me of three hundred different women that I slept with. Oh really? I mean, come on. I'm forty-eight years old. I'm not sleeping with three hundred women. Let, 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 me right. just, let me just get this right. When you went to the concert, mm. you weren't actually together. You'd been kicked out of home. Oh, oh yeah, absolutely. And you know, yes, every I, no, time I, we I have any kind of home. altercation no, or argument no, 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 or whatever, no, no. and I tell him to leave because he's calling me names. He's calling me. No, I don't know. That's you know, not true. That's poor, not true at all. Slut, really? Bitch. No, oh, absolutely. That's not true. And finally, I, tell you, I had enough. Called, like, you know what? I am not those names. Any name I've ever listen. Any name I've ever called her. Is, is, is it. just a reaction trying to keep up with what Her she's reaction. been calling can I, me. Can I just go through? Reaction. Can I just go through some of these things? Mm -hmm. yeah, okay, sure. the, the recording. It was her, her and I making love. That she, you know, I mean, uh, come I mean, on, really? How come really? I at her house, I can tell you exactly when it was, where, it, where it was, how it happened. We was at her house oh. on her couch sure with the window like up. Us. Did you hear sure the cars drive by like because us. the window was up? The crickets, you know, you got here. Why were you out being there. so quiet that day? Because it's why was I being so yeah, quiet? Every and time and I, I heard you, you're not quiet like that. I, I was watching. Is all I was doing. Oh, I was sitting there okay. watching okay, you. Can I ask about the, the, the I mean, women friends? Uh, the women. Oh, you always have an answer minute. to everything. I was watching you. The women friends. The women friends. I mean, everybody has women friends. Do they cook? Really? They cook and clean. That is not true. Not for me. Oh, really? That is not true. That is so inappropriate in a relationship. Period. What do you need me for? No, what do you right. need me for? Okay? Uh, uh, Especially if you're out cheating thing, on me thing, and then that, that doing all your stuff. Uh, what okay, do you need me for? Okay, if I would have had not been kicked out of her, of her life, of her home, of everything, with nowhere to go, right. I wouldn't even been in... Uh, at their, oh, at really? Their they they really? put a roof over you. Yeah, like, okay, you know what? I don't care. That's not that's accusing. So so I you know. go fishing. She accuses me of cheating. I go well, hunting. She accuses me of cheating. I go I to the store. Reason. She accuses me of cheating. So I, said, I go outside and use the restroom. Cheated? I go outside and pee. She accuses me of cheating. I have reasons so to accuse you of cheating. So are you saying you've never cheated? Are you saying you've never cheated? No, I've not cheated on her. You've never cheated at all. Absolutely not. But where's the relationship at at the moment? If you're being accused all the time and you're kicking him out and you right. you think you're going right. mad mm. oh I understand that you know and if he's not cheating and there's proof today then uh, the devil crazy. needs to get out of my life because he's been messing with me like crazy because I'm not crazy oh. I have all the proof let's let's get the results we have private investigator and polygraph examiner Tim Acosta with us Tim are you ready As <laughs> usual, as usual, I do not know uh, what's on these cards until I read them right here and now, and I will read the answer that Chris gave, and Tim will tell us whether Chris was telling the truth <sighs> or not. So, Chris, we asked you, were you having sexual intercourse with another woman in the recording that Sandy found? And you said no. Tim? The lie detector determined. Up next... Were you having sexual intercourse with another woman in the recording that Sandy found? Uh. You are a liar! You are a liar! And later. Tim is going to tell us whether Monique was telling the truth or not. Oh, Tim, admission, I've got. Monique admitted that she does... <laughs> Lovers' lies and ugly truths. Today on Trisha.
I met Chris two years ago and you know I fell in love with him. We have a child together and I want a relationship. Oh yeah, we're on video there. This is what I want to do, what I want to do right now. And you know when I play that audio tape back, it's Chris's voice and he's having sex with somebody. I go fishing, she accuses me of cheating. I go well, hunting, she accuses me of cheating. I go I to the store, reasons. she accuses me of cheating. So I, I, sit, I go outside and use the restroom. Cheated? I go outside and pee, she accuses me of cheating. Are you saying you've never no, cheated? No, I've not cheated on you've her. You've never she, cheated no, at all? absolutely not. So, Chris, we asked you, were you having sexual intercourse with another woman in the recording that Sandy found? And you said no. Tim? The lie detector determined that Chris was being truthful. We asked Chris, did you want to do more than give a foot rub to the woman you went to the concert with? You said no. Tim? The lie detector determined that Chris was not being truthful. No. Oh. That is not true. We asked you, during your relationship with Sandy, that have you been on true. a date with another woman? You said no. Tim? The lie detector determined that Chris was not being truthful. That is a lie. That is we a lie. Are you are a liar. I said, I your, done. your machine is a liar and you're a liar. I am done. Hang on just a minute. We I'm asked you if during if your relationship with Sandy, including times you've bro That's including not true. times you've you, broken that up. That is not true. This is when you've broken up. Hmm. We asked you during your relationship with Sandy, including times you've broken up. Have you had sexual intercourse with another woman? You said no. If Tim? you say no, if that's... The lie detector determined that Chris was not being yeah. truthful. You are a liar! You are a liar! You are not being truthful. Well, you, you're the she's a liar! You're a liar! That is a lie! Chris, yeah. sit down. Oh, I tell you. Chris, that, that, hang on just a minute. Just yeah, a minute. Yeah, that's a lie. Okay, can we talk? Can we talk? No, no, about what? Because he wants... Uh, look, that's look, not true. Can I, can I, I have just, never... Wait. Wait, cheated on my, wait, my girlfriend wait, wait. with anyone ever. When we asked you about having sexual intercourse with another woman in the recording that Sandy found, and you said oh. no, that one that came out. Okay, you were you, telling the, the truth. You know the reason why? Uh, that was truthful. Trisha, Chris was trying to sell it to me the whole time. Uh, and oh, the wait, second I thought that the I was doing the test. He I thought was telling the, the first the words out of his mouth were, I never cheated, I never cheated, I never I cheated. I haven't ever cheated. The last words out of his mouth when he left the office was, day is was I never cheated. I never cheated. Yeah. I only hear that from people who are not being I truthful. I have never. Oh, okay, did the machine okay. do the, the test or did you do the test? Oh. I do the test. Oh, no, I no see, that's, you hang did on, the hang test. On. I you, you know, determined, you the test. Sorry. I interpret the charts, I read the charts, <laughs> and the charts well, are telling you me that you are not You need to go back to school on it because you okay, are not, you need, you're not even good at it. Where is my girlfriend? Because I got some making up to do it because of him, because he no, can't because take of the test. because of you. Because of you. I came here to find out the, the truth. The truth and that's that you. That's why detector tapes are supposed to be like 99% uh, accurate. Well, okay, then that, okay. Okay, that 1% is me that they're not doing right. No, that is not the no. truth. I'm telling you, I'm telling you, I have never had anything to do with anyone since we first met. And why did you keep saying, I never cheated, I never cheated? That because is unusual. Because I have never. That is you unusual. You do not realize how many times I've been accused of cheating. Yeah, we and drive I, you and away. And I have, I have never cheated on her. I heard that is saying, you know, believe oh him, God. you know, but my head with all this, you know, evidence and stuff like oh that. Do you want to spend some time and sit down with our, can, our counselor, who's completely she neutral, and I talk things that, through? That is, he, that is so wrong. Oh, I'm just so confused. What confused. I suggest, can I just suggest what she does is have some, some time with our female counselor, sit down and talk to her, talk through what you want to do, this. just sort your head out for a minute, rather, because I know you're in turmoil and you're a bit upset at the moment, okay? Up next, Tim is going to tell us whether Monique was telling the truth or not. Oh, Tim, admission, I've got Monique admitted that she does... <laughs> Lovers' lies and ugly truths. Today on Trisha. 
I have been married to my wife, Monique, for eight years. We have eight beautiful children together, but right now our marriage is in a crisis. She blames my mom for the problems that we having in our marriage, but it's not my mom, it's Monique. I believe that she's cheating on me, and the things that she's telling me is just not adding up. She blames me for breaking up their marriage, but I haven't broken up anything. You see how this picture is? How she's sitting in the middle where he on the end? This is how we live. Man, listen, 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 listen. Hold on, wait, 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 wait. How would you leave your listen, freaking feet? Listen, listen, listen. Is it true that when she came home, you would sniff her private parts. Well, yeah, yeah, I'm out of smell. Then yeah, I'm gonna smell it. They yeah. always say somebody who kills oh, somebody cheating is a cheater anyway. I love you too. I love you too. I'm gonna read out the question that was asked of Monique. Tim is going to tell us whether Monique has broken up with her husband. I'm gonna read out the question that was asked of Monique. Tim is going to tell us whether Monique was telling the truth or not. So here are the questions asked of Monique. We asked you, Monique, do you feel trapped in this marriage? Oh, Tim, admission I've got. Monique admitted that she does feel trapped in the marriage. Are you with Ricky because of the children? Oh, I've got Tim admission again. Monique did admit that she is with him because of the children. <laughs> okay. That's not the only reason. <laughs> we asked you, do you think you would be happier with Ricky if Doris wasn't around? Oh, t yeah. Tim yeah. admission. Monique admitted that she would be. Oh, well, too will. freaking bad. This is my mom. I don't bother Hang on, like just that. a minute, I just don't. a minute, just a minute. Let's keep going. We asked you, when you went to the rapper's party, mm -hmm. remember that one? Did mm -hmm. you have sexual intercourse with another man? Mm -hmm. You said no. Tim? The lie detector determined that Monique was being truthful. <laughs> we asked you, did you have sexual intercourse with another man when you came home smelling like sex. You said no. Tim? The lie detector determined that Monique was being truthful. <laughs> we asked you, during your marriage to Ricky, have you had any type of sexual contact with another man? You said no. Tim? The lie detector determined that Monique was being truthful. <laughs> Excuse me. Yes. Can I have a hug, please? You use the word I, 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 I. Mm -hmm. And yet when anything goes down, you, you have to have your mummy in your life. I get that. <laughs> but mummy, she's been horrible <laughs> to me. <laughs> I've lost my mum. Oh, but, OK, what I'm saying is, my mother and I spoke three or four times a week. Mm -hmm. Did she know the ins and outs of my marriage? No, because I'm a grown mm -hmm. woman. <laughs> Now, I know, Doris, that, Doris, I know that you were very young. You were 17 yeah. years of age when you, when you had Ricky. Yeah. And I think you've been through some tough times as a single mum, as a teenage mum. It would be really hard. And I, I know you probably love having him around and what have you. But here's my concern. While he uses you as an excuse, no, it is tougher to stay and deal with something than to run away. Would you not agree? Yes, yeah, true. You would agree. Right, so that's yeah. two women agree. Yeah. I would rather Mom stay there and deal right. with it. But well, what I'm saying, it takes you? two people to make a I marriage agree. work. I agree. If he really cares, forget about me at the times when I'm angry and when I'm frustrated and mad because I got to come home and be subjected to him smelling on my when I know I'm not doing nothing. So I'm crazy in my head right now. Think about your kids. Be there for your kids. And I'm really, yeah. really pissed. Man, boy, because man. his Where? mom this, won't this tell him. Instead of sending for a bus ticket to take just him minute, away, she won't. Yeah. I hear what you're saying. saying I'm free to say not, nothing, man. It's, it's not, not for you, mom. Man. Do you think that what I'm saying is bull? No, it's not. I'm <laughs> saying I ain't had sex with my freaking wife in two months. Oh, what, what am I supposed to do? What am I supposed to do? I need. Lies and ugly truths. Today on Trisha, with 20 something years' experience yes, as a cop, um, maybe you can tell us, just stand up very quickly and tell us what your experience is. Well, I served 20 years with the New York City Police Department. I retired as a first grade detective in the Major K Squad. 
I've, uh, I'm a certified polygraph examiner. I'm a certified law enforcement polygraph examiner. I've conducted polygraph exams for various police departments. I'm a member of all the major organizations which govern polygraph. I know what I'm doing, Tricia. <laughs> think about the guests on today's show follow us on Facebook and Twitter and, and let us know how you feel thank you to my studio audience and thank you for watching <laughs>